This is an in-depth video on the SOFI. The SOFI is a compact air conditioning system that is a great option for many aircraft. The SOFI is intended to be removable, so it can be pulled out of the plane when it is not needed. Because of that removability, it does not require certification to be used in the aircraft. The SOFI is a split unit. The main unit here on my left goes in the cabin, and then the heat exchanger here on my right is the heat shedding portion in the tail. Of course, the main unit it, uh, produces the cold in the cabin. It can go anywhere in the cabin, and we are now going to take a closer look at the features of the SOFI. The SOFI is an electric air conditioning system that's manufactured right here at our facility in Middle Tennessee. The SOFI comes in either a 12 volt version or a 24 with the 24 volt version producing 13,000 BTU and the 12 volt producing 8,000. The main unit on either voltage version is 28 pounds and the heat exchanger is 10. Um, but the difference in the SOFI is that we are using our liquid technology to remove the heat out of the cabin, which means that we're not using traditional air ducting that's bulky and inefficient. Um, starting at the top of the unit, we have our controller. Uh, you have your control knob with your different power settings. Each power setting controls your draw and also makes the system work uh, better and produce more cold. Uh, the, you also have your voltage readout screen so you can monitor your bus voltage and make sure that you're maintaining proper voltage. You also have your temp light and your voltage light. These are alarm lights that tell you whether the system is getting too hot or the voltage is getting too low. Uh, we also have microprocessor controlled uh, fail safes in the unit where it can control itself um, so you don't have to constantly monitor it. But we do have those lights just to show you what's going on through there. You also have your two cold air output vents. Um, so on this model here, we have our vents. You can also substitute it with a flange or you can have ducting uh, going over the seats or uh, directly blowing on you. Um, so whatever is uh, more appropriate for that aircraft. We also have our lift handle here. Uh, at the front, we have our glycol sight window. That's your reservoir in there, shows you your glycol level. As we move over to the side, you actually see your glycol quick connects. Um, and if I go to the three, two three eighths inch lines uh, that go to the heat exchanger, these are the male ends that simply connect to the fittings on the actual unit. Uh, those are quick connect, self sealing. In between those, you have your priming button. That priming button is really only used for the installation to get the initial prime of the system. Below that, we have our condensate barb. That takes an eighth inch line. Uh, we have a condensate pump in the system that pumps the condensate overboard. And then just to the side of that, we have our plug for the fan wire uh, that simply connects and screws on. And then just below that, we have our two fuses. And as you see here, we have our main power wire for the system. This will connect to a plug that's installed in the aircraft. As we're going into our patented liquid technology that the SOFI utilizes, uh, we're running two 3 8 inch liquid lines that are uh, protected by a sheath going over the line. Uh, these are run from wherever the SOFI is located in the cabin to the heat exchanger in the tail. The purpose of using liquid is that we're not using uh, bulky, inefficient, traditional air ducting. Uh, the liquid is much more efficient at transferring the heat, and it's less prone to surface area heat losses. Uh, this also makes the installation a lot more simple, and it also is not uh, as intrusive in the cabin. Moving over to the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is typically located in the tail of the aircraft, but it just needs to be outside of wherever the SOFI is trying to cool. The heat exchanger is pulling fresh air in and exhausting the heat into the tail. Uh, to get the hot air out of the tail, we typically replace an ins inspection panel with a screen or a vent to help get that air out. One of the many benefits of the SOFI being all electric is that we can pre-cool the cabin on the ground with a GPU. Now this is the GPU that we provide, um, but any GPU that is standard in the industry can be used as long as it has the power output for the SOFI. Now with a GPU, you simply hook it up to the aircraft with your standard APU plug, and then you can connect it to either 110 volts, which is a standard extension cord, or a 220 uh, extension cord. Now with 
our GPU, you can run the avionics, charge the aircraft battery, and pre-cool the cabin on the ground with the SOFI without ever turning the engine on, as long as you have access to a simple extension cord. The installation of the SOFI is very straightforward. We hook up our wiring to either the alternator or the main bus of the aircraft. We recommend a 100 amp alternator for the minimum for both the 12 and 24 volt versions of the SOFI. Um, with our wiring, we use a 4 gauge for the 12 volt version and 6 gauge for the 24 volt version. Uh, in front of me here is everything included in the kit. Included is a circuit breaker that we typically mount somewhere near the pilot so they can shut it off if anything goes wrong. Uh, following that wire back, we then mount a plug, our Amphenol plug for the power wire for the SOFI. This goes generally somewhere near where we think the SOFI will be sitting most of the time. Uh, mounting the SOFI uh, depends on the aircraft. Many customers just keep it in between the seats and it kind of keeps itself up. Um, if you do want to secure it, you can throw a strap over the top of the SOFI. Uh, we do provide a mounting strap. Um, if there is nowhere to secure that strap, we do include these baggage tie downs that can be installed in the aircraft. Uh, condensate. Condensate, we include an eighth inch silicone tube and then a fitting that goes through the belly of the aircraft so we can dump that condensate overboard. Moving through the aircraft, we then have our liquid lines. Um, our liquid lines are 3 eighths inch diameter. These do not need to be insulated. They can be run under the carpet, along the sidewall, or even behind the interior of the aircraft. Again, it depends on the customer and the actual aircraft. The SOFI can be used in pressurized aircraft. In that case, we do provide uh, feed throughs to go through the pressure bulkhead. Um, moving along, we have our heat exchanger that is in the tail of the aircraft. Now this heat exchanger is typically mounted with angle brackets or existing bracketry in the tail. Uh, these handles are removable, um, or we recommend securing these two brackets with hose clamps or zip ties. Um, of course, this is all described in our installation manual. This heat exchanger does need to be fed with fresh air. Um, to get fresh air, if a fresh air scoop is not already existing in the aircraft, we then provide a fresh air scoop. This is a scoop made in-house. Uh, the width of the intake is about three inches and the length is about eight. We also provide a doubler for the scoop and we provide a deflector and a backer for the deflector. So the deflector sticks through the scoop. Um, the, how far it protrudes into the airstream uh, is adjusted by the installer and then they then put a backer behind the deflector. We also provide a screen to go over the scoop to make sure that we're not sucking up any contaminants into the fresh air vent. Um, we then run a five inch duct to the heat exchanger where it is then uh, brought through the condenser and picks up the heat and exhausted into the tail. Now many aircraft already have enough venting in the design to remove the heat. Um, if not, what we like to do is we find an inspection panel and with that inspection panel we will install a similar screen or a vent that can be custom made by us. Uh, to get that done, just contact us, uh, send us a sample, and we can get that made up. And that is essentially the installation. Um, if there's any questions, you can contact us 24 seven, or we can do the installation here in Middle Tennessee.